Air Bolsonaro, known as the Trump of Brazil, has won the presidency in the runoff against former Sao Paulo Mayor Fernando Haddad with 55.1% of the vote. The ex-army captain has portrayed himself as an outsider, even though he spent 27 years in Congress. From Fox News colon Bolsonaro, who cast himself as a political outsider despite a 27-year career in Congress, is the latest of several leaders around the globe to gain prominence by mixing tough, often violent talk with right-wing positions. But he also is very much a product of a political tempest in Brazil that made his messages less marginalized, widespread anger at the political class amid years of corruption, an economy that has struggled to recover after a punishing recession and a surge in violence. The name of his party, PSL, translates to Social Liberal Party, although it largely abandoned its socially liberal platforms after he joined. Bolstering his rebel image is his reputation for offensive statements and sometimes extreme views, including insulting women, black people and the LGBT community. I'm afraid to go out at night when it gets dark, said Raga Nunes, 27, a secretary from Sao Paulo and an avid Bolsonaro supporter, as the Wall Street Journal reported. But he's going to solve this, he's going to be firm, Talking didn't get us anywhere so we need to respond with force. Bolsonaro took a softer tone after he won, telling the people of Brazil, you are my witnesses that this government will be a defender of the constitution, democracy and liberty and this is not just the promise of a party, or the empty words of a man, but an oath to God. I wrote a few weeks ago that a Bolsonaro victory may not make much of a difference in Brazil because his party should win a few more than 50 seats in Brazil's lower house of Congress while Haddad's PT is expected to win a few more seats than the SLP in the same body. Despite the offensive things he has said, Bolsonaro managed to bring in support, mostly due to the fact that Brazilians do not like the Workers' Party after years of corruption. I mean, he ran against Haddad, the stand-in candidate for former President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, who was jailed this year for corruption. You would think the party would have pushed away from da Silva but the Wall Street Journal reported that he continued to call the shots for the Workers' Party from his police cell in southern Brazil, holding frequent tete-a-tetes with Mr. Haddad, who registered as his lawyer to secure regular visitation rights. The Wall Street Journal continued. Speaking after the result Sunday, Mr. Haddad said he would continue to guard over his supporters, who fear Mr. Bolsonaro will set back gay and women's rights bully political opponents and pose a threat to the country's young democracy. I saw the anguish and fear on many people's faces but don't be afraid, we will be here, we will be with you, he said. Sunday's vote brings to an end one of the most turbulent election campaigns in Brazil's recent history, which has sparked rancorous feuds between families and friends. Thanks Mary Chastain help with this report. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments section below. You can also subscribe for more videos like these in your inbox. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more of the coolest things that you never knew existed at the best prices, please feel free to visit www.atthesmall.com. Once again that is www.atthesmall.com. Share this video with your friends and family. Since you're watching, we have a small favor to ask. More people are viewing our videos more than ever but advertising revenues across the media are falling fast. And unlike many news organizations, we haven't put up a paywall. We want to keep our journalism as open as we can so you can see why we need to ask for your help. Our videos and reports takes a lot of time, money and hard work to produce. Our investigative reporting uncovers unethical behavior and social injustice that helps to hold governments, companies and individuals to account. Through this we can, together, create meaningful change in the world. We do it because we believe our perspective matters, because it might well be your perspective too. For as little as one dollar you can support us, and it only takes a minute. Thank you. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this video? Scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the truth or guidance or need a prayer request or studies, please visit followyeshva.com at www.follow. Y. E. S. H. U. A. Now.com. Please note that we have changed to a new YouTube channel.
the link is in the description box below, please subscribe to the new channel, as this one will no longer have new videos and reports posted to it anymore.